Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. This is the TAFA and chart analysis for February 19th, 2022. And now you can see um, Bitcoin has essentially bottomed uh, due to this Russian news. And I don't think it's going to go down any further until another piece of news arrives, whether they're going to resolve it diplomatically or whether they're going to fight, essentially. Um, now, the thing is, like, Putin might just want to extend this uh, scenario as long as possible to keep the West on their toes and to basically keep the economy, their economies in disarray. That actually might be part of his plan. If so, we're in for a long ride, a very, very bumpy ride with not too bright a uh, aspects for cryptocurrency. As you can see uh, from the 18th onward, the bottom has been pretty flat, even slightly up, but obviously the tops have just gone down, down, and down. You can see from the points here, 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 and here, each top has actually gotten lower. <coughs> we are consolidating. And I do believe the line at around 40,000, maybe like 100 or 200 below 40,000, is kind of where it's actually consolidating, uh, waiting for new news. So I do think that Monday will be very, very critical. Um, Olympics ends on Sunday. Some people think, think they're going to invade Monday. However, they have actually said they're not planning to invade and they want a diplomatic solution. And if that's the case, if we actually get a diplomatic solution, even if we give in to Russia's demands, I do believe the uh, market will actually go up. How much up? I actually have a belief that if you look, oops, if you look at the longer term trend, if you actually look at the longer term trend, um, I do believe the market will actually go automatically back up to 45,000 uh, as long as this resolves without the United States committing any large amounts of troops. So the thing is, I'm expecting like anywhere from 30 to 45,000 uh, coming Monday. I don't think we'll actually uh, dip to 30,000 on Monday. We might go down to like 35 if an invasion does indeed happen. It'll depend on the scale of the war. Now, how long do I think this will actually affect the market? I think at least two to three months, the market will be low if that does happen. If it does not happen, I expect us to bounce back up to 40, uh, at least for the moment. And then basically, I don't really expect us to move much up from 45 until like mid-March. After mid-March, they will hike the interest rates. And I think a lot of that is already priced. And after they hike the interest rates and people see like things didn't actually go insane, I do believe people will actually uh, start buying crypto again, and then the and then uh, we'll go back up to fifty thousand and above. So I'm looking still looking at mid March uh, as my point for above fifty thousand. That is still about a month away, and that is depending all depending on that the Kremlin doesn't actually invade. If the Kremlin does not actually invade, I think mid March is a very good point. However, if the Kremlin kind of like stretches this out, uh, basically keeps us on our toes of whether they're going to actually invade or not. Um, I do actually think that uh, we will actually stay in the lower 40,000s range because economic and political uncertainty is very, very, very bad for the market. So like TA-wise, we're actually not doing too bad. If you actually look at the one month, we actually came up from a low of about 33,000 to a low of about 40,000 here. So we're actually on the uptrend here. But there has been a turning, like there basically has been a turning in the high points. And that was that happened on February 10th, where we actually peaked at about 45,000. And now we're actually going down this way. I think February 10th was also around the time that the Russian news actually starts to get um, started to get really bad. So the thing is, like, we are out of the bottom trough of like lower 30,000s right now, even with the threat of war. So I think the I think the market is overall generally stronger than like 33,000 and actually wants to break upward. But right now the continuing geopolitical threat keeps us down. And I think like this uh, 45,000 was actually gonna break even higher uh, before this all this goofy stuff started. And if it actually ends in diplomatic in a diplomatic solution, I do believe we will go back immediately to 45 and then higher up to 50,000 um, in mid-March. And then after uh, mid-March, I do actually expect the rest of the year to be better as they continually uh, as they continue to raise interest rates and um, inflation sort of gets under control. I do expect people to actually buy it higher. I think eventually over time, people will see it as a hedge against inflation and Bitcoin will actually rise anyways. Ukraine and Russia kind of accepting cryptocurrency, not really playing into this. If you look at the technical indicators, right now it is still a sell. I mean, the oscillators are all neutral, but, well, the stochastic is actually oversold now, but that's more of a geopolitical thing than anything else. 
But uh, realistically, the oscillators are kind of neutral. The moving averages still all say sell uh, because we dipped a lot in the, the recent uh, couple of days. The 50 EMA is still way below the 200 EMA. And the only thing that can change that is a is kind of like a diplomatic resolution to the current crisis. And if Russia doesn't try to drag this out, which they actually might try to drag this out. So the thing is like the market indicators, you're going to have to be looking at uh, CNBC and the pre uh, the the pre-market futures and what they actually decide to do. Um, so like Putin is testing missile launches and those that kind of news is what actually probably bought uh, finally bought us under 30,000. We were above 40,000 like the entire day until like, you know, we got more news um, that then it bought us under 30, uh, then it bought us under 40,000. Now, the resistance is still pretty strong here, and I think we will oscillate uh, above and below 40,000 until we get a final answer. I really hope it doesn't stretch out until all of next week. You can say that um, we don't really have like a double top. I mean, I guess you could consider this a double top, but it's not really. We don't really have head and shoulders either. I mean, some people might consider this the neckline right here, but that's not really head and shoulders. And um, if you look at the one day graph, like we don't really, it is a descending trend on the one day graph for sure. So one day wise, it's definitely a net, like uh, one day right now is definitely negative. And if nothing happens, I actually find the situation to be slightly negative as well. So I would, uh, I, you know, I would favor selling instead of buying. I mean, I wouldn't do anything at all right now. But if I had to pick one, I would probably favor selling instead of buying. But then again, I am just taking a guess. The trend now uh, on the short term is actually downward, though. So on the weekly, I still think the trend is downward, obviously. It's very, very much the same right now. Slightly downward trend. Everything is on a sell right now. The oscillators, um, I would say they're kind of neutral. But uh, the momentum, the MACD level, are both sell. So you can say it's slightly on sell. Um, essentially everything down to the 50 weeks is actually at a sell. The hundred weeks is still at a buy. We are still, remember, we are still way above where we were in mid January. So month to month, I would actually say it's still bullish and going into March and April, uh, assuming that Russia doesn't invade, we're dev doesn't invade. We're actually bullish. Um, but otherwise like it really swings on the geopolitical pendulum, uh, pendulum right now uh, on the monthly. That's what I would actually say too. Yes. It looks like a sell right now to me. Uh, but the thing is, like, if you actually look at from month to month, um, from January to February, if you look at one month, we are much higher than where we were mid-January. Um, we're even a little high. I mean, like, we were higher than this last peak right here uh, towards the beginning of January um, until we actually hit the crisis in Russia right now. And right now we're just waiting for a resolution. So if you're looking for a three, four months term, like after this conflict, it's definitely bullish on the chart. But right now it is kind of bearish and I really wouldn't buy right now because I think the bearish chance is greater than the bullish chance right now, both based on news and what the technical indicators actually say right now. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button, and I will see you guys later.